Hi Scorpios, this is your May 2018 love and relationship reading and you had a jumping message card this month and the first card you had was time out. Awareness, contemplation, solitude, and time alone. Okay, so let me just say that the message that I'm getting from this card, Scorpios, is I don't know if this is for you or if this is for your partner. And if your partner is cross watching, you need to take a time out. Somebody needs to take a time out. Somebody is doing way too much. Okay. What I'm getting from um, the cards that I pulled and your message cards is that someone wants to have their cake and eat it too. And it's going to backfire on you. Okay. So this jumping card was like, per it was like the perfect message. Okay. Um, be aware of what's going on and what you may think is shiny and new and exciting could lead you to a dead end. I'll just say that. Okay. Um, the next message card that I have for you is sacrifice. There are those worth making. There are those that will destroy you. Like, you know, okay. I'm telling you like, I, okay, this is what I see here. I see that. For some of you, though, know, this is a general reading, so it's not going to apply to every Scorpio out there. But for those of you that it, you know, that it applies to, you will know who you are. I'm just feeling like you're like in order to like you're going through something in your relationship, but you're going outside to fix it. This could even be a marriage. OK, this could be a marriage or a long term relationship, but somebody is going outside to fix the relationship. And what I mean by that is. I'm just feeling like there may be a third party situation or you may want someone else. Maybe you haven't started dealing with this person yet, but you have your eye on someone. Okay. Because you have yearning, longing for someone, undesired separation, pining. Okay. So it's like someone that you can't have or someone that's teasing you that you want. Okay. For someone, but be careful, be careful because the sacrifice that you're going to make to deal with this person is not going to be beneficial in the end. Okay? I don't know. That's what I see here. That somebody is going to just uh, ruin what they have at home to be with someone. And it's going to be short term. And it may seem exciting now. And it may seem new and something good now. But, you know, all things that are shiny, new, and exciting do become dull and old. <laughs> so you got to keep that in mind. And I'm laughing because I've been there and it's not funny. Like, whoever's going through this, I don't think your situation is funny because you could, you know, be, you know, um, it could be very painful. You could be depressed about the situation depending on if you're doing this to someone or if someone is doing this to you. But the reason why I'm laughing is because I know, like, you know, whenever temptation, let me just say temptation is crazy. Okay, temptation is a bitch. But you have to think about what you have at home. Do not let someone tempt you in the street and you think you're fixing a situation or you think you're going to get something better than what you have at home because you're really not. From what I see here, you're going to um, screw up what you have at home, Scorpio, for something you think that's better in the street. And then you're going to want to go back. And I'm just feeling like it's going to be like your home, your, your family dynamic is going to be ruined. Okay. So please keep that in mind. All right. That was a lot. Um, okay. So let me just keep those right there. <laughs> okay. Let me just, I just need to keep these right here for a second. All right. So let's just get into your reading. First card that I have for you is the 10 of cups and it is in the reverse. Um, this could be your energy because cups symbolizes water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Or you could be dealing with another water sign. But your family right now, like your home life, is not right. Now, this could be a marriage or this could just be a long-term relationship or someone that you live with. But I'm just feeling like you guys are arguing. Uh, you guys are not seeing eye to eye. Something's not right here, okay? There may be some... Um, you know, some problems in your home life. The next card that I have for you is the emperor. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries who's controlling, who just wants to see things their way, who rules with an iron fist, 
who's not willing to hear you out and listen to anything that you have to say. Okay. Now, if, if you're not dealing with an Aries, and this could just be your attitude, Scorpio. Okay. You could have that type of energy um, with you this month. The next card that I have for you is the Eight of Cups. So I'm feeling like someone walked away from their family. Someone walked away from a marriage. Someone walked away from a long-term relationship. Let me just fix my camera a little bit. Sorry about that. A little bit. Okay, so someone walked away from a situation, right? Okay, and this is what you think you're going to have. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And you think that this is what you're going to get. So you walked away to this because things at home weren't right. Okay. The next card that I have for you is the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles indicates someone who is no longer willing to work it out. Someone who's given up, who's thrown their hands up and said, I'm done with this shit. I don't want to work this out anymore. It's not going the way I wanted to, you know, whatever. But let me just say this. Um... If you're not willing to work at what you have already, Scorpios, if this is you, okay, because this could be your partner, like I said before, if they're cross-watching, if you're not willing to work at what you have at home and you're going to throw that away to be with someone else in the street, do you not think that sooner or later you're going to have to put in some work with this other relationship? No, no relationship is ever perfect, ever, okay? Sooner or later, you're going to have to put the work in. But I'm just feeling like someone, you know, is tired. Now, this just goes for people who have a situation where you guys may not be seeing eye to eye um, and you may not be getting along right now. I'm not talking about an abusive relationship because if you're in an abusive relationship, then by all means, get out, you know, leave. Yes, you're doing the right thing. But I'm talking about for marriages or for relationships where, you know, you're just like, I'm just tired of this or I'm just tired of that. And, you know, she's not listening to me. He's not listening to me. He doesn't do what I say. She doesn't do what I say. Like petty bickering, you know, just, you know, and it could be that you're, you're going through something at work. I don't know. Like some of you, maybe you may have a lot on your plate. Maybe you're going through a lot with your kids. Maybe you're going through a situation where, um, with some of you, you, you're fighting, one of your child's mother or father in court. It's like, I just feel like it's a lot going on and someone has thrown up their hands and like, I don't want to work at this anymore. I don't want to be in this situation because it's too much for me. Well, if you think it's too much for you, be careful because you don't know what you're getting yourself into with this new shiny penny <laughs> that you found, you know, that you think is the end all to be all because I just don't, Think it's going to be that type of situation. You have the seven of swords here. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Okay. And you're being sneaky. You're being deceitful. You're hiding things. The next card that I have for you is the two of pentacles. Two, you know, you're juggling two people or you're trying, like I said, you, someone wants to have their cake and eat it too. You're trying to keep what you have at home, but you're not willing to work on it. You want to keep what you have at home, but you're not willing to work on it. So it's like you just want this person at home to just stay by your side and just continue to do what they're doing while you juggle two people. Okay, so someone is waiting for their ships to come in. Someone's waiting for someone to get themselves together. But in the same, right? And like, you know, look at this with the two of pentacles. She's standing on rocks and, you know, it doesn't seem steady. You know, and that's fine. And there's a lot of water in the back. So that symbolizes emotions and sensitivity. And I get it. But you, no longer willing to work on the situation, think that you're going to get something better with this other person that you walked away to. And that I just, that may not be the case for you from what I've seen from the card. So you want to be careful because the next card that I have for you is the two of cups that is in the reverse. Okay. So this symbolizes a soulmate situation. So I'm feeling like this is what you have at home, but you know, this card is in the reverse for a reason because you guys are not getting along right now. And it happens in a marriage. You don't always love your partner. You don't always get along like every day. There are going to be differences. There's going to be times where you guys are not going to see things the same okay but it doesn't mean you walk away because you think that there's something else out there for you 
Okay, so I see that there was a tower moment, major arcana, something happened, maybe an argument, maybe a fight. Hopefully um, it wasn't physical, but um, something happened. Okay, and it caused um, some chaos, some destruction, you know, shook up your foundation a little bit, made things unnerving, uneasy. And you have some options. Maybe these options were there before per the Seven of Cups, or maybe someone started showing you some attention, whoever this is. Okay, but be careful because all of these options are not good options. And the reason why I say that is because the next card you have is the Moon card. Secrets, things unseen, more than meets the eye, okay? So you don't know all that you think you know about this new person that you're walking away to, okay? You're leaving this to walk away. Put that right there. <laughs> you're leaving this to walk away to this, but... The next card that I have for you is the Magician card, and it's in the reverse, okay? So be careful about that. Manipulation, someone out to get what they want, and they're out to get it by any means necessary, and they're going to pull any type of tricks they can to make it happen for them. So they could be using someone for money or for whatever personal gains um, that they can get out of the situation, but it's not a stable situation, Okay, and then, you know, someone is feeling like the four of cups here. Someone is feeling rejected. So I'm just feeling like this is your energy. There's a lot of cups in this reading. So um, this could be you feeling this way, Scorpio, like your partner is rejecting you or you could be rejecting your partner. But someone doesn't see this full cup they have back here. They're only focused on these three cups right here that they feel, you know, that are no good for them. But, um, you know work it out put the work in because i'm just feeling like per this eight of pentacles like i said some of you could be dealing with an earth sign virgo taurus or capricorn and maybe this person at home is just you know in their work and they're not showing you any love or any attention and you're feeling like you know you need to go out in the street and find it or get it from somewhere else so something is going on here and you know it's like it's saying that somebody is working hard for something and then you have the somebody not willing to work on anything anymore okay three of pentacles sorry about that I had to mess up these cards a little bit um so it's like you have someone that's working right and then you have the three of pentacles someone who's no longer willing <laughs> to work on this situation Okay, but it's all surrounding a family dynamic or a long-term relationship. It may even be where you know you guys have kids together um, and you share a home. So it's like you have one person that's willing to work and then you have another person that's no longer willing to work on it and they're going outside. They walked away thinking that they're going to find something better, but you're not. Because the next card you have is the Ace of Cups. Okay, this new beginning is going to be delayed. Let me put that right there. There's going to be a delay and your situation, okay? And then you have the Empress and she is in the reverse. So this could be someone, um, someone could be pregnant here. I don't know. This is the pregnancy card or this could just be like someone that's been like a mother figure to you where, you know, someone is showing you a lot of love, a lot of attention, someone who's very nurturing to you for now, but it's in the reverse. So you have the Ace of Cups in the reverse and you have the Empress in the reverse. And then you have the death card. Where do you think the situation is going to lead you? Like, seriously, it's not. Like, I just see, like, it may be good for now. It may be a good situation for now. But you have the Ace of Cups in reverse. You have the Empress in reverse. And you have the death card. So there, there are going to be some changes in this situation. And then you have the Fool card. So it's like you didn't leap off the ledge ready to just, you know, be a risk taker. Be a fool for this person, um, not caring what happens, you know, in the event with your family. But then you have the five of pentacles here. Somebody's going to get left out in the cold. So it's like you leaving your family for something or someone, Scorpio, if this is you, if not, you know, could be your partner. But I'm just saying that this is not going to be a, a good thing. Okay. So think about that. Think about... You know, take a time out for your message card and think about what's going on here and what you're doing 
um, especially when it comes to your family, because I'm feeling like, you know, you could go home and you could work this out or, you know, you could go back and you guys can, can work on things instead of thinking that you can find it somewhere else. Okay. So those are your messages that I have, um, this month for you from spirit. I just want to say thank you for watching my videos. Um, thank you for everyone who ordered a private reading from me. I really appreciate it. Also, I am now on Instant Go, so you can message me there. You can text message me, reach out to me there if you have a question that you need answered. And I will see you next month. Bye.